The 2024 Olympics opening ceremony was a grand event. Let's take a look at 10 of the best moments from the 2024 Olympics opening ceremony. There was Lady Gaga. So there's days of speculation that she would be performing at the opening ceremony. And to fans' surprise, she 100% showed up. When she came out, she was first covered up by some fluffy pink pom-pom things. And she teased her entrance by performing a dance with only her legs exposed. But after the props were removed, it revealed that Lady Gaga was 100% the covered up performer. And she launched into a flawless, highly choreographed performance on a set of golden stairs singing Montreux et Plume by Zizi Jean-Marie, totally in French. What a way to open up the show. And there was also the synchronicity part where musicians of an orchestra performed a beautiful piece while standing in the window of a skyscraper. Now dancers dressed in metallic costumes and they danced along the scene. While there was some footage that revealed how the gold, silver, and bronze medals are plated, while others hung suspended in the air, tethered to a high-rise structure, paying homage to the craftsmen and builders who make the games possible. There were dozens of performers that were used in this part and it provided a stunning demonstration of harmony and cohesiveness. Yeah, there was also a lot of symbolism in the opening ceremony that I thought was pretty significant. So we know there's Olympic medals, right? But yeah, the Olympic went medal also in the opening ceremony. Here's what I mean. So the Liberté section of the opening ceremony began with a brief performance of Les Miserables, Do You Hear the People Sing from Theatre du Châtelet. It was followed by opera singer Marina Viotti and heavy metal band Gojira performing At Shaira which is a famous song by French revolutionaries in front of blasts of flames and dozens of Marie Antoinette holding their own head that was removed from their bodies. Next up, let's talk about Aya Nakamura, who is a French musician, and she did her performance in the Egalité section, where she appeared in a glittering feather dress alongside a group of dancers and the French Republican Guard Orchestra. She sang her hit song, Puki Jaja, as well as Charles Aznavour's For Me Formidable as well as La Boheme on top of the Pont des Arts, which is a bridge connecting the Institut de France to the Louvre Museum. We can't forget the La Marseillaise performance, which is of course a French national anthem. Axel saint Sorel, a mezzo-soprano, gave a spectacular operatic performance of the French national anthem. And this was all done while standing on top of the Grand Palais. And literally, she hit every note of the rendition of this song. And specifically, it was reorchestrated by composer Victor Lamasny for the whole Olympics opening ceremony. She wore a Dior gown inspired by the French flag as the country's flag was formally presented at the ceremony. France is also known for its fashion. So they took the opportunity, of course, to showcase France's fashion during a catwalk section of the opening ceremony. And it was DJed by French producer Barbara Bouch, which took place while the athlete parade passed by. Young designers from France showcased their work on a variety of models, one of whom was Italian Paralympic fencer BB Vio, while dancers and drag performers, including Nikki Dahl, host of Drag Race France, brought the party to both sides of the aisles. And yeah, the performance was 100% fierce. The Eiffel Tower also was pretty magnificent. It was an emotional high point that occurred after the parade concluded when all of the boats gathered at the base of the Eiffel Tower. Now, some of the athletes appeared to be very pensive and emotional, while groups of American contestants cheered USA, USA, as they were led through the river by flag bearers LeBron James as well as Coco Goff. 
and they watch the Eiffel Tower shimmering with flashing lights and adorned with Olympic rings. Later, right before the cauldron was lit, the tower put on a multicolored light show with lasers blasting out of it. Another one of the best moments in the opening ceremony was the Imagine song. Symbolizing the oneness attained by the world's nations every single time the Olympics happen, pianist Sofiane Parmat and vocalist Juliette Armanet played a beautiful rendition of John Legend and Yoko Ono's Imagine while afloat on a raft in the Seine. Now, during the ceremony, part of it anyways, it was raining, but it seemed like the performers kept warm because yeah, like the piano was actually on fire the whole time. Yeah, it was an amazing show, guys. Then after the final notes of the song were performed, there was a message that flashed on the screen that said, we stand and call for peace. During the torch lighting bit, Rafael Nadal, Serena Williams, and Carl Lewis, as well as Nadia Comaneci, all took turns holding the Olympic flame while cruising on a tiny boat down the Seine, while a sign language interpreter performed a dramatic interpretation of an EDM track for the athletes waiting by the Eiffel Tower. Tennis legend Amelie Moresmo took over the torch once the boat neared the Louvre, followed by a slew of other French athletes, eventually leading to the lighting of the hot air balloon vessel, which rose into the air after receiving the fire. And perhaps the best moment, for me anyways, of the 2024 Olympics opening ceremony was Celine Dion's performance. Celine Dion made a powerful, amazing, emotional, long-awaited return to the international stage, sounding better than ever as she belted out some serious notes, man. She performed Edith Piaf's song, Him a la More, in French, while she was at the Eiffel Tower, which glowed with sparkling lights. And this performance was a fitting end to the opening ceremony, leaving a lot of people in tears, actually. Even Celine Dion, she got really emotional during the performance. And this was actually Celine Dion's first live performance ever since she had to leave the public limelight after being diagnosed with stiff person syndrome, which is a neurological illness that affects one's muscles. And we saw this really affect her, especially in her documentary that she released, I Am Celine. And nevertheless, so it looks like Celine is back better than ever. And if this performance at the Olympics 2024 opening ceremony is any indication of what we're gonna be seeing from her in the future, yeah, I'm super excited. So guys, this was my list looking at 10 of the best moments of the 2024 Olympics opening ceremony. Be sure to let me know what were your favorite moments or what was your favorite moment. Sound off down below in the comments section. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video and I'll catch you beautiful people next time. Boom.